your life. Okay. Hi guys. I am working on a table. Oops, and it's doing it's going really well, except for I just threw the paint bottle across the room. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys. Oh, oh I might have to load it up with some more. Um, I wanted to show you guys how it was going. So this table was my oak table. If you remember, I painted all the chairs and I've left the tabletop for a while until I could decide what I want to do. Um, I'm going to be doing a blog, a blog post about this fairly soon so you guys can see um, everything you would need to do if you want to give this a whirl on a piece of furniture. But I thought I would show you guys at least the fun part of it and then we'll do part two tomorrow uh, if it's dry. So I'm using Country Chic Paint. Uh, cheesecake is the color. It's just a cream color. Um, you can see it's just a creamy color. And then I'm using uh, gel stain, Old Masters Dark Mahogany Gel Stain. And I am mixing an oil-based gel stain with the chalk paint. And this is the tray that I'm working out of. And I'm adding both colors at the same time, some dark and some light. And I'm just basically dragging it. Um, I, needed to, I needed to get my sides done here first. So I'm just getting the sides on, however, and then I drag it out, like I'm gonna make it be boards. So tomorrow I'm gonna come back in and do the board layers. Um, but this will give you guys an idea. Um, I wish my table wasn't rounded, but it is. So, okay, so now I'm gonna add I could add in a little bit of dark here if I want. And then you just keep dragging through it until you get it how you want it. Now, I, I did take a little break here, so it's kind of tacked up here where I've already finished. But I think you guys get the idea. And then see if you, like that was a little bit light, so I just drug into it. So now we'll go back, put some, so we can get very much back in here. And I'm just working the two elements together. Now, I know... What is that? Oh, somebody's phone. I know that every um, every um, law book on painting tells you to not mix oil and latex, but um, I have done this. I did a small project. I did a janky to swanky project with my friend Julie that we have not revealed yet, so those of you that follow me know what that is, and I'm waiting on her to finish her project, so as soon as she does, We'll be coming live and showing you the reveals of what we did uh, with Janky Swanky. But on mine, I used this technique just to test it out before I tackled such a large piece of furniture. And uh, yeah, I think it's. I think the main thing is I need to try to make sure that my strokes stay um, straight and don't curve. Oh, don't hit me too much. <laughs> I did. <laughs> And, um, but I'll give you like all, everything that we did, we sanded, we cleaned it, we, um, we uh, used a gray primer, that's what you're seeing here. Um, just because we already had one and it was tinted gray, um, we could use any dark primer, because um, I didn't want to use a white primer since the wood was already a darker color. Um, but I wanted to prime it since it was going to be painted. So... Anyway, since we're using this oil-based stain, um, it's a gel stain, I would not use regular stain. It'll be too runny. You need the body of a gel stain. Um, so if you don't know about gel stain, you can either message me or you can ask your paint store what they recommend. But I'm, I'm going to come back in tomorrow and try and make this look like boards. I just wanted you guys to see um, what this technique was and how easy it is. And I mean, there's a little drag on the brush for sure. It's really, I'm really holding it tight and really working it. It's not like a typical paint, but when you first put it on like that right there, it really glides. And then, and then I kind of have to work it from that, from that point on. But so it was wood, but it was oak. It was that orangish oaky color. Um, and I was just really tired of it. And I have so much of it with my wood floor um, I really wanted to break the table up. I was not going to paint it light like my chairs. And if you see all of my furniture in here, I have a brown or a black cabinet, I have a brown cabinet, and then a dark brown cabinet. It just was not looking 
great to have everything be that creamy color. I really like the contrast of the wood with the um, with the table, uh, with, the, with the painted part. So anyway, I don't know any questions, anything coming, any comments, just hellos maybe? Um, just a lot of rays tuning in. Someone said, come to my house. I spilled <laughs> nail polish on mine. Oh, <laughs> no. Well, I'll tell you what, that happened here. Uh, Abby and her friend Taylor did that on this table and it never, it never came out. It was never the same. So that's kind of when it became a work table, which it was fine. They had fun, but, and I was over the table, so it wasn't like it was a brand new table. But um, that happened years ago, years and years ago. And uh, yeah, I just, I've always just kind of been tired of this table. We got it before we even had kids, and our, our daughter is 30 or 31, I think. So <laughs> it was time. It was time to do something different. So um, I don't think this, I mean, it's not done. This is just today's layer. Then tomorrow, it, I'll, I'll record it again, but I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna pay, tape off boards, or tape off lines, and then I'm gonna do another coat in every other board. And then um, I'll have to like rub a little bit of black or something to define the, the board lines. And this could be a total fail. I might end up sanding it off and doing something else, but um, I think I'm gonna like it. So. I uh, hope you guys like it too. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to clean this mess up. And um, we're enjoying outside right now. It's so nice. So we're getting uh, a lot of outdoor stuff done as well. So have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.